Hello everyone, this is Xenia Zimmer here, Xenia Zimmer here, and welcome back to Blaster Master Zero. Last time, we lost Sophia, and we got Zero. Sophia Zero. It's time to rescue Eve and Sophia. We're starting off here, even though we're not meant to know about this part. Mainly because it's just so much easier. So satisfying. Left. This is an amalgamation of multiple areas. Only thing we want to do here, here we don't want to break those. Bottom paths. Let's go, Jason. Drop. Now we want to slowly make our way back to Sophia. Zero. Oh, this is so satisfying. satisfying. Acceleration Blast. It's just so, so satisfying. And we reach here. We'll switch the wave, and we want to switch to turret. Remote Blast doesn't change. Crabulous. It's time to boss rush this list. Crabulous is down. Time to move on. Health. Antibody cell. There we go. And our acceleration blast friend, Venom Master. Oh my god.
Penetrator. Trying to kill it first, but you know what? We'll just overkill. <sighs> this is not good. Let's just quickly check. Yeah, there is. Let's just quickly grab this. So let's go. We'll get to see just how powerful Sophia Zero is. Hello, Skeleton Boss. Goodbye, Skeleton Boss. Yeah, a boss just became an absolute joke. Winterland. Let's go. And if we swim down, we see there's another skeleton boss. Uh, to spoil the second and third game, I like to imagine that it's that specific. Skeleton boss that returns in two and three. <sighs> Hate how slow this is, though. Thankfully. We're at the end. And we face a mother brain. Of course, there is flame and grenade. We can just do that instead. Watch how fast that just tore. Through Mava Brain. The Chozo probably weren't the best to ask for a boss. Or were they? Considering Mava Brains.
I didn't even attack the other one. And yeah, we got the map. This will help because we need every key before we can face the mutant core. And so we can face the final boss. Sounds like we can't swim, which is annoying. Really? Really, skeleton boss? <laughs> Thanks. He has never just done that attack. This is hilarious. Okay. Now we'll just swim around. Get in Sophia. And there's something up there. So, let's go toward it. Another boss rush. Go through. The Drip Trappers. Drip Trappers. Smashing. Boom. Oh, my finger hurts. But that'll be nothing compared to the later bosses. Photophage! It's the one boss we don't need to worry about. Switch to Striker. Just dodge. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And now, boom. Two, four, five, six. Photophage is a joke. You know what? Put a mobile blast on. Right, forgot about this. Ancient Freeze! Like I said, a joke. <laughs> Somehow, 
Nature Freeze can get more of a joke. Not with Jason, though. But with another character. Now, keep going down. We've got a long line. Where in the world am I? Fred's wormhole brought me here, foe. So that means that there is no doubt that even Sophia must be here. Keep it together. I know I'm, how I'm going to find even Sophia. Now to make sure I didn't overlook anything. There's your hint. If you didn't go left, you probably should go left. Receiver on, that door appears. We can't do anything about it yet. So we're gonna have to wait. And wait, we shall. Save and now it's time for probably one of the worst things to try. Do you like blind jumping? Because that's effectively what we're doing. Drop down, get out, swim up, swim around, go to top, and Grab. If you fail, you get another chance, but if you hit the ground, you're dead. Whew. Now. Warning! Hard shell! Now just. Mash! Hard shells down. But there is a bottom and a top, top, top half. We want the top half. Because we're otherwise just going to be facing un to the same boss. Crab your larva. I don't know why they made the two crab names. Three of Two two crab name bosses together, but not all three. There we go. I believe this is the final one that we have to face. For the final boss. Spark Salamander! So, let's give him a healthy dose of missiles! No point worrying. So, let's just go get the final key. Time to slowly climb down the ladder. Because if we go down that one, we're definitely dead. And let's just ignore that. Yeah. Whenever I see people play this game, they always go back up for Sphere. They forget, we can just call it. 
Anyways. Now, let's bring cannon. There is no cannons here. Only fiction. Now, we have to go all the way around. And... We've got one final test. in the keys we miss the jumps we die it's not too bad though what did I say thankfully no. you know what I'm just gonna blow myself up all right these only do one damage now Didn't even mean. Because of this, I'm just going to try this first. This is why Blaster Master probably should stay as not a platformer until the third game. The third game, God, realized that, yeah, no, the platform bits, the 2D platform bits aren't fun. Give us some jet boosters. And of course, they did. Now, now we're here. What's this? Well, we'll soon find out. It's a ship. A ship that is controlled by mutants and is fully functioning. It defeats anything. But it's also really dangerous. We took a little bit of damage, but that's fine. So, let us do, let's have a laser, fight a laser. Their laser got away free, but my laser caused destruction. Alright, can't show it here. We are close. This is it. We've got the final charge. Just place that there because let's not deal with these. If we destroy these, this will be helpful. Potentially, for later. So, 
we may want to use this as a restart. Especially for remote blast. But nothing else. Because turret is the turret and remote blast are the only things we need. So we've only got one more fight left. Ladies and gentlemen, our final boss. Sophia the third. Sophia! Oh no! Don't tell me I'm a human. Uh, a human? <laughs> a mutant hijacked it. Eve, are you over there? Please answer me. Jason, is that you? Why are you here? Don't come any closer. What? Eve, that's. This is the scene you see in the bad ending. I'm so sorry. After all you did for me, in the end, I wasn't able to protect you or anyone else. There's no way to stop the court now. Please, Jason, destroy Sophia and me. What? There's no way I could do something like that. I won't let you die. It's completely taken over Sophia. We can't take it back. I don't want to see Sophia destroy this planet. So please, destroy us. Eve? Eve! Damn it! What am I going to do? Warning! Nor MA1, in them MA1. Glitch, Sophia. In them, Sophia. In them is the Japanese name of the mute of the army of mutants. Our blaster does a tiny bit damage, but let's be real. Remote blast is all. It's the only reason, only thing that's helpful. Get in the corner. And once Sophia blasts the door, we run. Because we have no chance. And Sophia doesn't care. We're going to send a turret to buy us time. Sophia is catching up quite quickly. Understandably, we want to charge. But Sophia will run rubber band here. And Sophia has had enough of our shit. The mutant Sophia wants us dead. It let out a huge blast of smoke. I knew it was about to happen next. This was the mutant he was referring to as the core. If I deal with swing damage, I should we can hold over them bit by bit. We gotta find a way to get Eve out and then destroy Sophia. I can't fail now. It's not an option. This is it. I can do this. A reference to the meta fight and the final boss. Tank versus tank. Warning. Layer of Invem A M A X. Invem. Sophia. Sophia is as, as we had her. Of course, right now, we are more powerful. It can use acceleration blast, so be war be wary. Usually, it does so after this. Uh, 
And if we hit, now we've got a jacked. Go to Emma Sophia. Eve, are you alright? Uh, she seems to be unconscious, but otherwise unharmed. Now that the core's power is weakened, I was able to tear off the appendages, but we'll need Eve, Captain. We must drive out the cockpit. Now, we've got to hurry back to Sophia Zero. Alright, all that's left now, destroy the core. Here we go, Sophia Zero! Now, and that is the end. It, it tried to destroy us because <laughs> it couldn't get out. <laughs> but with that, Sophia's destroyed. Well, hi. That's right. I found the core. Flip Sophia's self struck switch. But then Sophia got taken over. Possessed. In the bad ending. Ding? With this implied. Sophia kills. Impli it's implied. Sophia takes over the earth. Destroys it. And probably Jason and Fred. I fought desperately, but there was nothing I could do. I couldn't stop him from taking over everything. I made a choice to protect you and this planet, but in the end, I couldn't do anything. And I crawled to her fate. Sophia ended up becoming a tool that could would be used to destroy the land. My senses were completely dim, but somehow I heard her voice. There should have been no way in the world I could hear. And yeah, same thing. I think my memory circuits are failing. There should be no way that could be here. Yeah, this is just an illusion. He got so worried, but he came here. Even if he's just an illusion, I can't let the core take him over. Damn, I can't move anything from my head down. I definitely do not want him to see me like this. Although there's no point in me asking an illusion to do this. But just in case that really is him, Then all of a sudden, Eve, open your eyes, Eve! I was awakened from my nightmare. Nightmare. J Jason? Eve, thank goodness. Why are you here? That wasn't a dream? Hmm? I'm not sure what dream you're talking about. But more importantly, are you injured? Does anything feel out of place? The core is destroyed, but I'm worried about what that thing might have done to you. I see. So, it wasn't a dream. Don't worry, I'm alright. But how were you able to get here, Jason? That was all thanks to Sophia, Zero, and Fred. Sophia, Zero? You mean this machine? To be honest, I don't know much about it either. But Fred can send Intel all the way back to your home planet, right? Maybe, just maybe, since he learned about the core from Fred, if you use Fred's wormhole to send Sophia, Zero here to Earth. They? Eve. Something I want you to see. Is there, is this some kind of message? Yeah. To our precious door, please use this machine to protect them. Kane Gardner? Jennifer Gardner. The original protagonist of the original game in Japan of Metafight. Oh, perhaps the sense of is here? Zero, not just to help destroy the core, but also for you, Eve. To help keep you safe. I'm so sorry, Jason. Can you please hold me for a bit? Yeah. Thank you. I guess it really is over now. Yeah, you were the one who made it happen. I wasn't able to do it all by myself. It's because of you. I'm here now. You were there for me. Support me in ways that, that I'll never be able to fully repay for, so I need to tell you this and to happily say a million times. Thank you. Thank you so much. Show me the most beautiful smile I had ever seen. More importantly though, she looks so happy. This is the smile I always wanted to see from her. A glowing smile, straight from the heart. Eve, I have something I need to tell you too.
And that is how the game ends. So, my thoughts on Blast Master Zero. A really good remake, and I'm glad they got to make sequels. Yes, sequels. So, what about this, my final thoughts on this project? Uh, well, since we're not completely done. I can't say fully, but honestly, for what we've done so far, I've had fun. I do plan, while Fire Emblem Free Houses is going on, to do the second game. Why? Partly because I want to get to the third game. <laughs> and partly because that game has a connection to another game that will I'll be. So I need to do that game first. But, otherwise, yeah, I've had fun. I wonder what you, you guys think. You guys think. While I personally think, gameplay-wise, the second game is rougher, I honestly don't think the second game is as good gameplay wise. Story wise, oh, it's just so much better. The third game just is better than both of them. <laughs> so I can't wait until we get to that. Anyways, with that, I think I'll leave you with the ending and a hint of what is in the bonus episode. Till then, this is Zeno and Zuma, signing out.